Hey guys, Tech Timmy here. So in this video, I am going to show you how to configure your HB LaserJet Pro 3001 DW printer for a Wi-Fi connection. So to start, you want to come to this web page here on the H hpsmart.com website. So it's hpsmart.com slash setup. And then when you hit enter, okay, install H, oh no, so you need to click this button as well, install HP Easy Start. So I'm gonna do that. And then now, so now it says find your file here. So what I did was I created a folder on my desktop called HP Easy Start. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna install it there, just so I know that it, it's not, it's not gonna conflict with, with anything else that I might have going on in my computer. And find your file here. Click to install after your file downloads. So I'm gonna click on this little, this little box here. And I if it's gonna be anything. Let's see. No, I'm gonna just go to the HP Easy Start folder. I'll do it the old-fashioned way here. So there's HP Easy Start on my PC. I'm gonna click on that and it's extracting. And then with a little bit of luck, this should actually get, get us uh, set up on Wi-Fi with, with, with the printer. I'm not sure what the little circle is for. Is that me? Yay! Okay, I didn't realize my camera could do that. Hi guys. <laughs> still learning here, still learning. Easy start, okay. HP click save. That's a big screen. We're gonna just say accept all options. That's fine. And to connect using Wi Fi, internet, confirm these items first. Check your printer. Make sure your printer is plugged in and powered on. It can take a few minutes for the printer to fully power on. It is certainly powered on. Um, we're connecting, select the same network as this computer, right? And for wireless setup, turn on Wi Fi for this computer and stay nearby the printer during setup must be in range when connecting okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the wi-fi button on the top of the computer once and the computer is now so the wi-fi button is now rapidly blinking and wi-fi quick start guide i printed that out once i went when i held down the when i held down the button i got this wi-fi Wi-Fi quick start guide, interestingly. Um, so, and it looks like this is the same set of directions as what we have here. So I'm gonna just hit continue. And then select the printer to continue. Uh, you can search your printer by IP address, but I don't wanna do that, we wanna refresh. And it's gonna search for our printers, presumably the one that's connected via Wi-Fi to my the computer that I already have, I have installed here. Hopefully, hopefully this just works. Okay, <laughs> so this is good news. I've had I have had no success at all with installing the wired version, so this is good. Um, and it is so I have the three double O one, and I believe it is DW. So this guy here, I just did a separate a separate unboxing video uh, for my printer. So there's the actual number. Well, this little camera's coming in handy here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's that, and I'm going to say continue. So that is the right printer, and share Wi Fi password with the printer. I'm totally fine with that. Let's continue here. This looks very encouraging. Connect to Wi Fi. He must stay on the screen while each setup completes. This may take a few minutes. Fine. Printer found. Configuring the printer. Good. Press the flashing information button on your printer. For security, we confirm your proximity to the printer. You have not seen your language, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. So, the info button I'm going to press. And I did, I pressed that once rather quickly. And it looks like it wants me to stick around on the screen while setup completes, that's fine as well. Yeah, I've got to figure out a better way to mount this camera so you guys can actually 
and see me as I'm filming these videos, I guess. Hopefully this helps you out regardless. And so now connection's finished. And basically all that I did was, um, let me see if I can show you. You see the eye button there? So second one, that was blinking when I was prompted. And now I have a solid blue Wi-Fi signal, which I think is also encouraging. That probably means that, that it's fully connected to Wi-Fi. But it's telling us to wait, so we're gonna continue to wait. And then, okay, so network settings. Um, so that is the name of my network. I don't mind sharing that. Um, you guys probably know what that is, I'll, I'll bet. If you could, um, if you want to guess, drop, drop a comment down below and configure IP automatically. I think that's totally fine. So I'm probably going to need to blink some of this stuff out for security reasons, but hopefully you guys aren't going to be printing to my house over the internet. Um, choose how to continue, get software and drivers, blah, 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 enable. So... Don't want to connect to the cloud. So okay, so we're gonna install some drivers. It looks like here. Let's go download. Yeah, the the my old printer just died. It, it was stopped being able to make a USB connection to this computer, and then I noticed that with the newer one, maybe I, I installed some software on that, that that's conflicting. But I also couldn't couldn't make the hard wire hard connection, so I'm very happy to have this resolved either way over Wi-Fi. So it looks like here is some additional software it wants us to install. So we're doing that, and then we're gonna say consent usage data. Nah, I'm sick of giving companies, you know, giving these companies everything. Um, we'll say no thanks there as well. And then the software we need is being installed. Hopefully, this looks very encouraging. That's the right model number, yay. Come on, woohoo. So network device installation, searching for device. And I'm actually going to, in my separate window, I'm gonna create a test file. So it is a test. Very basic test going. Yeah, so I bought this new printer just for this perp because I could not get the other one to connect with a wired connection. So, or, or this one. So I think there may be some USB conflict or something with, with my particular PC. But just so long as I'm able to print, I'm happy to do it over Wi-Fi. My other printer was not Wi-Fi enabled. So this, this one is, and it's been pretty good so far. And for the future, I'll have to figure out how I can mount my camera so I can record more of these picture-in-picture uh, -picture videos for you guys. Pretty cool. HP device setup process. Still thinking, yeah, um, it's just, <laughs> it's like anything with technology. It's just, you'd think that this would be completely and utterly seamless today. You just plug in the printer and it works. Um, but this HP Smart, and there's another one called HP Download. Um, it's a little bit involved, and I'm wondering well, like, what all what is being installed on the computer, because it seems to be more than just drivers. But we'll, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Okay, setup complete, amen. So congratulations, you have finished printer setup. The software is installed, your printer is connected. <laughs> That's the moment of truth right here, let's see. I'm gonna do file print. And no preview available, that's fine. It's just a text file and I'm printing. And oh, the sweet sound of success. And I'll show you with my camera as my first, my first ever printout comes out from this printer. And see what it says right there? This is a test. All right, so mission accomplished on that. So that's how you install, that's how you set up your HP LaserJet Pro printer to print over a Wi-Fi connection as opposed to a wired connection. If you guys have any special insights in terms of the wired connection and, and you know, potential stuff that I'm doing wrong, please just drop me a comment below. But for now, I'm back up and running. I'm gonna be able to print my 
my, one of my returns that I bought it for Christmas, which is my primary concern. And um, yeah, so if you got any value from this video, please give me a quick thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. I do all sorts of videos about tech. And this is definitely an experiment. I hope this video helped you. And I hope when I, when I publish it, it actually looks fairly decent.